to set the tone. They played extremely hard, um, got in us, um, you know, through the first punch and we just never recovered. Kyle, you you talked about how to bring it, about how you really liked the, the sense of urgency you guys had in the UConn game. Did you think that was lacking a bit tonight? Um, I thought I thought I thought they played hard on us. Um, you know, they uh, they present a different game um, than other teams, um, and I thought you know they came out and executed you know perfectly. Um, I thought in the half court we got stops, but you know them you know turning us over. Um, and offensive rebounds were uh, too much for us to overcome. Is it problematic to have to have that type of problem that at this point in the season that you know another team's outplaying you hustle wise uh, to that degree? I mean, yeah. Like if you're uh, if you can't defend, if you don't take care of the ball, it's tough in this league. Kind of going off what Jeff said, you talked a lot yesterday about how you're trying to start faster and have a have a quicker start. It seemed like it was that way for a few minutes today before St. John's went on that first run. Were you, how, how would you evaluate the start today today's game? Um, I thought we came out. Um, we were decent in the beginning, um, you know, and then you know they. Uh, I thought they played harder. Um, you know, they got timely offensive rebounds. Um, they were physical with us. Um, you know, uh, set the tone, uh, being physical, um, and played their game. Um, and they played their game better than the playoffs. And then four of twenty-five and three point today. It's all, all the. It was a low percentage wise. It seemed like a lot of those shots were high percentage shots that you probably be happy with. Would you say that's accurate? And they just didn't go in, or was it something else? Yeah, we we got some shots, um, but either way, um, you know, you think about the turnovers, think about offensive rebounds. Um, yeah, I think you know you take care of that. Um, yeah, I think we have a yeah. definitely different outcome. Yeah, that's my question. Coach over here, <clears throat> how's it going? Um, TJ Bomber was five or six from the floor and two or two from downtown. I know it's a tough loss, but you mentioned there uh, St. John's defense. Just what did you see in TJ's approach offensively? Um, yeah, I, I thought he came out. You know, first couple plays. Um, yeah, you know, he had some good drives. He's he's one of our um, best defenders. I thought he was good defensively. Um, at times, um, you know, he, he's 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 been he's been pretty good offensively. Um, you know, unfortunately, it wasn't enough for us tonight. Each time that you guys have played against St. John's, Soriano has been kind of a difference maker. Do you think that that's like a matchup problem, or I'm right here? Uh, do you think that that's a matchup problem? Or do you, you know, what kinds of problems does this guy present for you guys? Um, well, he, he was really good defensively as well. Uh, I think that's the major piece. He really clogs up the middle. He rebounds the ball. Um, you know, he's, uh, he does a, does a good job in the post. Um, he's very physical. Um, and I thought he had a couple timely offensive rebounds, a couple timely buckets uh, when we were, you know, trying to go and push. You know, he had a couple runs, and he kind of ended a couple of those runs. I mean, he's... He's, he's a good player, and you know in the Big East, there's a, there's a lot of good players. Every every team has a couple of them. Kyle, when you play a team like St. John's, who seems like they've come a long way defensively this season, what kind of challenges does it present when, when they're picking up full court and then um, dropping back into a man or a zone as well? Um, you know, they, uh, that's what they do. Um, you know, they, they try to they try they don't want you to run offense. Um, they try to. Uh, get you to kind of play helter skelter. They, they they do a good job uh, changing things up. Um, they're very physical, um, yeah, and they did what they did better than we did what we did tonight. Yeah. Immediate message uh, to the team after a game like that and during a winning streak. We went in the locker room. Like, what, what are the types of things you said? I mean, we just got to get better. Um, you know, you think back to even when we played them last, you could tell they're they're playing at a different level. Um, yeah, and that's what it is this time of year. Like the teams that get better, um, you know, have a chance. Uh, and they, they've gotten better. Uh, they've gotten better defensively. Um, you know, they play harder. Um, and we got to continue to get better. Again, with, the, with the, the threes, it was 2 of 13 in the first half, 2 of 12 in the second half. It kind of seemed like the result was the same way the first half, the second half. Was there any adjustment made at halftime, or was it? 
or did you just figure that the shots would start falling at some point? Yeah, I, I felt like, uh, again, um, you know, sometimes you make shots, sometimes you miss shots. Um, you look at, for them, would they make, you know, 5 of 19, uh, we were 4 of 25. Um, you know, for me, I look at the offensive rebounds, I look at the turnovers. Um, you know, I thought that was the difference in the game. And with the rebounds, when a team gets out rebounded by 12 like Villanova did, what's, what's the, is there any cause for that other than just pure effort? I thought, yeah, I thought they did a good job. I thought they did a good job. They just went after rebounds, and they it seemed like they, like, even when the ball was getting, being batted around, they always came up with it. Um, so, again, hats off to them. They did what they did. They did what they do. They, they're one of the best offensive rebounds, rebounding teams in the country. They're one of the best teams in the country at turning teams over. Um, and they, they executed their game plan and did a good job of it. Last question, are we good?